This is Idaho News 6. There is a beautiful three-story building in Weiser that breathes history. The former school turned museum will turn anyone's head. In this edition of My Idaho, our Don Nelson walks the halls of the Snake River Heritage Center to learn some of its stories. Back in the late 1800s, this is Reverend Paddock. A pastor is called to Weezer to preach. After spending time here, he noticed something. He noticed that since it's a farming community, all of these kids out here were going to one-room schoolhouses and they could get a, a decent education through the eighth grade. But after that, that was it. You know, you can't afford to send your kid to school in town if you're trying to make a living on a farm. Decades came and went, and it literally became a three-building campus for boys and girls, and then eventually becoming the town's high school. It's called a doctor's boogie, but the, you're right, they used it to go. And I'll tell you, we had a heck of a time getting that horse up these stairs. Board member Dottie Emmert has seen it all, including seeing Bing Crosby entertain the kids while he was in Idaho on a hunting trip. Yes, performed on this stage, uh, ad-libbed. Uh, so to speak. It wasn't a big performance. They didn't have a band. They just came and talked to the kids and sang. For the time, Hall of Fame pitcher Walter Johnson, then 19, doubled as a telephone company employee and a pitcher for a team in Weezer. We would challenge Caldwell to a ball game. And so the whole city of Weezer, not the whole city, close to the whole city of Weezer would go down to the depot, get on a train, uh, a, a special car, they'd rent a car, and they'd, they'd all go to the ball game over in Caldwell and cheer for Walter Johnson. If you have any interest in arrowheads, the Heritage Center claims to have one of the biggest collections in the entire country. As you can see where the halves come in, they're different, and each one of those indicate a different tribe because they had a different style of making them. And if only these walls could talk, or maybe they do. You know, there are rooms on the third floor that uh, are supposedly haunted, but I've never seen anything, so. I go up I've there all by myself. Years, so. He's a friendly ghost if he is. He's really nice. The most somber display is the Holocaust room. And they did all the paperwork and did the signs. That was created by Weezer students as a school class project. And when it was time to clean up at school, the community said, We don't want to forget this. Some photographs in the display can be disturbing to some, but tells the truth of the atrocities. The most shocking thing they look at is this. This was a community toilet. <laughs> and they go, oh. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. And when you stop by the Snake River Heritage Center, because they're open nine to five, Monday through Saturday, if no one opens the door, just call this number and they promise someone will come faster than you can say, Walter Johnson just struck out the side. Don Nelson, Idaho News 6.